If you've been thinking about raising your prices as a coach, consultant, expert, agency owner, or even healer, but you haven't yet, there's only one reason why. And we're going to bust that reason to bits in this video so that you can start charging what you're worth or even maybe more than you're worth. I don't recommend charging more than you're worth, but charging higher prices for your services because you've probably seen your competition charge more and offer less. We touched upon, upon that a bit in a previous video, but I wanna get more specifically into the why you haven't raised your prices yet and what it actually takes to raise your prices. And disclaimer, it's not easy. I know how it feels. When I was teaching martial arts, and my mentor challenged me to double my prices for my services, I was scared, like really, really scared, scared shitless. It took me, I think, three months to get used to the new prices. I was saying the new prices, people were buying at those higher prices, and I would still feel like a fraud. Like still, I, I felt like I was taking something from people rather than focusing on the value that they were getting because they were, you know, becoming a lot more confident. Like I said, it was a personal development through martial arts program. They were becoming a lot more confident. They were getting promoted at their jobs, getting better relationships, starting businesses. And I was focusing on what I was taking from them instead of, instead of on what I was giving them. That's what made it hard. That's what made me feel like an imposter, like, um... Even like you, you feel like a bit of like you're scamming people. Like, you know, you have this question inside of your head. Like, why would people pay me that amount of money? Who would be stupid enough to pay me that amount of money? Right? Sound familiar? When my friend who is a famous fit fitness instructor told me, you need to charge $2,000 for your service. And I was still teaching martial arts. And I was like, who would be stupid enough to teach, to pay me $2,000 for my martial arts and personal development stuff, right? And I, I, I nodded. I said, yeah, yeah, I, I think you're right. But I, I was terrified inside. So I know what you're going through. When I started my career as a coach, you know, I was charging $1,000 a month for people to work me with me or I think... No, I, I like when I started, I think I charged $500 a month, right? And then later when I wanted to charge a thousand dollars a month, I was like, oh shit, you know, what am I going to do? Who's going to pay me this amount of money? People don't have a thousand dollars a month, right? And then when I raised my prices again, I said, people don't have this amount of money to pay me, but then they did. Right, And then I raised my prices again. People don't have this amount of money. And then they did. Right? People will spend the money if they see the value. If, if the value of what they're getting is higher than what they're paying. And if you are an expert, generally speaking across the board, whatever you're offering is a lot more valuable than any amount of money that you're charging. Healing, energy healing. You're giving people energy back their energy what is what is the price of that it's priceless you're a business coach you're giving people the the tools to build a business that gives them freedom that gives them meaning that gives them the ability to travel what is the price of that and have experiences that otherwise they wouldn't have had what's the price of that you know what i mean it it's priceless but the problem is, the problem is the most of us, most of us experts don't know how to show that value clearly in the sales conversation. And that's where you struggle. That's where you struggle. And it has nothing to do with your ability to sell. If you've gotten some clients, it means that you can get clients for higher prices. Right. My client was doing like really, really well closing for, I think, two or three K. And then when I challenged him to charge five K, all of a sudden his sales stopped. 
his, you know, he was still generating calls, but he wasn't closing. And I said, you know, what's, what's the problem? You're generating calls, right? Um, are, have you changed your well, way of selling? He's like, no, I'm kind of selling the same thing. Okay, great. So if you've sold in the past at that price and you're not selling now at this price, it means that there's something wrong inside. You don't yet, you are not 100% sold that your service is worth that much or more than that. That's the challenge. It has nothing to do with your ability to close, to, to sell. You don't need more sales tactics. You don't need more closing skills. It has nothing to do with that. But it has everything to do with how you see yourself. And if you're seeing yourself worse than it is, if you don't, if you don't see the value of your service, if you don't see your service, if, you, if you're selling it for 5K and you don't see it as a $50,000 worth of value that you're providing, whether it be energy healing, whether it be whatever, whether it be um, email marketing, copywriting, whether it be uh, mindset coaching, why not? Whether it be relationship coaching, if you don't see it as, wow, I, I'm actually giving away $50,000 worth of value and I'm only charging five, if you're not 100% sold on that, that's why you're not raising your prices. you're like, okay, but how do I see that value? Well, you stop measuring what's happening a few weeks after they start working with you. You stop measuring, looking at what's happening a few months after they start working with you. Go back to your old clients. Go back to your clients that you worked with a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. Ask them, what is their life like now? Ask them, what do, what do they think they were like, their life would have been like if they never worked with you? And that's where you're going to see your value. Whether it's in terms of income, whether it's, term, it's in terms of fulfillment, happiness, energy, power, inner power. That's where you see the difference, the value. Yeah. And if you're waiting for somebody to, to wave a magic wand or to wake up one day and say, you know what? Wow, I see my value. I, I'm charging 5K, but I'm seeing it as 50K worth of value and it's like wow i've got this epiphany i had this beautiful dream last night and now i'm 100 percent confident that this is the value that I'm, that's, that's just not gonna happen that's not how it works it's not how it works it's like thinking that you're gonna meditate all day and then money's just gonna fall on your lap uh-uh if that's the if that's what you're hoping for you're on the wrong planet. You're in the wrong universe. Right? Let's be serious about it. And if you're watching this, you've been thinking about making this change for a long time now. And you haven't yet. I get it. It's not easy. I get it. But... What are your options? Are you going to still continue to undercharge? If you are, why? Why would you do that to yourself? Higher prices means higher results. Alex Hormozzi talks about that as well. Many, many, many people, and you've heard this so many times, when people pay, they pay attention. Why are you sacrificing the results of your people, your people who absolutely love what you do? Why are you, why are you sacrificing their results? Because you're afraid to charge more. When they pay a lot more, they're going to be so much more invested. They're going to take, take your work so much more seriously, and they're going to get so much better results. Why would you do that to yourself? And to your people. Why? It's time to boost your confidence. It's time to see your worth. Use the warrior. Um, I'm sorry. Use the shaman mindset to see your value, to see your worth clearly. Then use the warrior mindset to present your value with confidence and power and unshakable certainty when you say my service is twenty thousand dollars yeah okay not necessarily that much that this much warrior yeah but you can say yeah my service is twenty thousand dollars and you don't flinch 
right? Why not? And some people will say, that's stupid, that's insane, that's crazy. And some people will say, yeah, you know, that's actually, that makes sense. Sure. Can I PayPal you? Yeah. So, again, this is not going to magically happen. You have to do something about it, right? And you can do it yourself and say, oh my God, you know, so difficult, so difficult. You've been trying to do it yourself for so long. What it's, what, uh, you know, what's it been now? Months, years since you've been thinking about raising your prices, right? It's time for something different. Here's my invitation to you. You can do it through the warrior shaman mindset, but first you need to have a bit more clarity in terms of what it actually is and how it can help you get to five figure months with more ease, less stress, and close five to 10K clients with a lot more relaxation and while you being you. I've made this powerful, powerful special training for you. Watch it and yeah, it's going to give you a, a clear, clear idea on how this works and why this is different than anything you ever tried before. Enjoy. Oops. <laughs> I'm trying to be dramatic right now with my glasses. <laughs> um, training probably popped up right now. Yeah, check it out. <laughs>